volunteer work projects that are international. So I've done several worldwide. And what I want to share with you is that they're not all... <laughs> I've had wonderful experiences. I haven't had... Um, can't think of one that I wouldn't have repeated because they were all wonderful. However, I want to help you choose the one that's right for you because... Um, in my travels, I've met people doing woof on Hawaii who got work to the bone, <laughs> didn't get paid. <laughs> I'm laughing because you have to really ask a lot of questions and give yourself an out. Um, all the volunteer projects I did were open-ended in Argentina, Colombia, India, Nepal, Thailand, giving me the opportunity to end it when I wanted to end it. So you could do anything from one day to several months and everything in between. And I suggest that you not pay to do a volunteer project. I've never paid. Um, I've gotten room and board, sometimes just the room, and then I would do my own food, but I'd always live somewhere where I had a kitchen for doing the volunteer project, or let's see, the first one I did stay in a hotel in Nepal. That was my very first volunteer project, teaching the faculty of the Nepal Youth Foundation how to take pictures for a week, and that was so much fun. Um, they paid for my taxi. I paid for my hotel room, and I just, that was such a great opportunity to do that. And I enjoyed it and learned how to pantomime better than I have ever. <laughs> they knew English much better than I knew Nepali, just a few words. So I'm going to give you some advice about volunteer projects because some of them are not really volunteer. Uh, I just read one for Portugal, which is basically a caregiving job for an elderly man, which required staying overnight, helping, making him breakfast and lunch, taking him for walks, like the list went on and on. And then they said it was a volunteer position. It's <laughs> you wouldn't have any time off. Why not be honest about it? So one of the people wrote and said, this is an 800 USD per week job with extra for staying overnight. I mean, obviously... It's someone who doesn't want to do assisted living care, but that doesn't mean you should expect people to do a lot of work for nothing. Um, I wouldn't do that job. So be careful about what project you accept and always keep the option of an out if you get there and you don't like it, you don't like the people, it was not ex anything what you thought it would be. It's way more work. You have to want to be excited about it and enjoy what you're doing. That's why the first one, the first volunteer project, I did do it over email. And all the other ones I did while I had boots on the ground and met the people and went to the place and liked it um, and lived in Argentina in a small town in a home for neglected people. That was amazing. And they asked me what I wanted to do. See, that's the thing. If you're volunteering, you can have an idea about what you want to do and you could suggest these things and not just end up cleaning and taking care of children unless that's what you want to do. I mean, if you have a skill that you can contribute, for me, it's always been photography. I've contributed writing, English conversation. So you get to decide what it is you want to share with people. And there's a lot of opportunity in the world. That's why I suggest doing it as you travel as you slow travel, if you find a place that you just love and you want to stay there longer, check it out. Start walking around telling people that you're willing to do a volunteer project. Here's what you can do. And here's what you might like. Getting bored. I mean, getting a room to stay at the facility. 
Um, so I've had a lot of great experiences in terms of that. And I just either, my son taught me how to do this. You, do, you start talking to people in a town that you want to stay in. Now, I've never done it in Europe. Um, you can, I suppose. But the projects I've done have been in South America and Asia. Not in Central America. However, there is the possibility of doing it there as well. So the thing is with places like the United States and Europe, there might be some tax things or accreditation or something. You, and, you know, you might have to just have a connection and make your connections when you're in that town. Uh, you might be able to do volunteering for a meditation retreat. There is a uh, Vipassana here in Italy, and there was an opportunity to do, if you go online, you have to have done one at least. I've done three. And so you know, you know what you're working with. And so there's a lot of opportunity for you to do volunteer projects, but some of them are... <laughs> veiled <laughs> with getting free work when they should be paying for it, um, like that caregiving job. I don't call that a volunteer job to have to be there every night and be there all day long. I mean, it was a 24-7 position with, I didn't notice any time off at all. Oh, come to the beach with us and like do all this stuff. It's like, that's being a companion full time. Now, if you want to do that, great. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be right for me. I gotta have some time off. Uh, and actually, uh, I think the last one I did was in Colombia in Villa de Leva. I really enjoyed that. Um, I was getting quite popular <laughs> because I was the only one in town <laughs> that spoke English. And I realized that isn't what I wanted to be doing the English. I like English conversation, doing comedy stand-up in classrooms and getting kids to talk English, to speak English, um, just because they're having fun. But I don't, I don't really like the um, going through all the conjugations and, you know, the different levels of students that are like beginner to experts. I... That's not something. I'm better with the one-on-one -on -one or a, uh, it, well, the thing is, it gets right down to, do you want to, do you want to teach English? One-on-one -on -one online would be okay for me. However, if you do something and it doesn't really resonate, I'm sure you have a skill that you could volunteer your time with that you could offer in another country and same thing as you would for paid work you can pitch I mean I pitched um, wonderful Olga Murray the founder and leader and director of Nepal Youth Foundation asked me if I could take pictures or teach photography and she wrote right back she's a wonderful person and she's in her 90s now and going strong with her huge uh, company, nonprofit in Kathmandu. So there's a lot of opportunity if you reach out and offer what you have. You don't have to go through these five and $6,000 volunteer programs. Um, you can make your own volunteer program. So ask a lot of questions. My advice is to do it as you travel, unless you're comfortable with doing pitches by email and then giving yourself the option of going to that country because you want it to go anyway. Of course, your travel, you're going to pay for yourself. They're not going to pay for that. I don't know of any program that would, um, unless I guess you had a highly specialized, you were a doctor or something like that. And even then, I know doctors abroad um, they pay for their own so keep traveling keep being open to new opportunities and I'll see you in the next video like share subscribe if you know that people are interested in this content